Hey everybody, Jason here, and today I'm gonna to show you a really cool hack I've never seen anyone else talk about. It's gonna help you sell more chat widgets to local businesses. And what a chat widget is, is something that High Level offers where you can put a little chat box down in the right-hand corner of any website and allow them to capture leads and communicate back and forth with the leads that visit their website. And you can do this on any website before you even walk into the business. You can have this ready without knowing uh, anything about coding. I'm going to give you the code for this. You don't have to have access to their website backend or anything like that. I'm going to show you a really cool, easy hack that you can implement right now. Okay, so before we show you this hack, I want to let you know that there are a lot of places out there that are selling just a few easy features that High Level offers for $2.99, $3.99, $4.99 per month. So we're looking here at a company called BirdEye, who High Level just blows out the water as far as the number of features that you could offer a business. They only offer these four features for $3.99 a month. Reviews, which High Level can do. Listings, which is similar to reviews, but it also puts the local information for the plumbing company, their their company name, the address, the phone number on places like Yelp and hundreds of other sites. High level can do that as well. Messaging we can do. So that's messaging back and forth with clients. High level can text message and has the chat widget that we're about to show you. And then web chat, which is what we're going to talk about today. Convert website visitors into leads, connects over live chat or automated chat bot, text leads after they leave your site, uh, funnel leads into your inbox for follow-up. So high level does all of this stuff. You can be selling this for $199, $299, $399 per month. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to walk into a business and show them a demo of this actual feature. Okay, so here's what it looks like. We're on a site, this is KW for Keller Williams. You can see right down in the bottom right-hand corner, I have a little chat box here. That's, this is connected to our white-labeled version of High Level. You can see powered by Trendify. So over here is another example. Now it's on the SpaceX site. Same thing, chat widget down here. This is all navigatable, so you can click around and and actually navigate the site, but the chat widget remains there right on the right-hand side, and it makes it really easy for you to walk into a business and show them. I have added this special line up here just because I've tried this in the past without putting this, where it says this is a demo and not currently on your website, and sometimes without having this, people get freaked out saying, how did you get this on our site? And you know they just don't quite get it. So I just let them know that I've just... I'm doing this for demo purposes. Our software lets us display their website in our software, but also show them how the chat widget works. Now let me show you how we actually set something like this up. Okay, so if I were to go and prospect a concrete company in Dallas, Texas here, and I scrolled down and just found a couple places. I looked at this one earlier. I think it was, uh, they're the number one in the maps pack, American Concrete Products of Texas. I'm gonna click on their website. It's going to bring me to their landing page, and I'm going to see if they have a chat widget installed yet. So if I wait a few minutes for this to load, I don't see anything popping up. So these people are assumingly getting a lot of traffic because they're number one in the maps pack, but they don't have any way for people to chat questions into them. So what we can do is do this little demo, reach out to them and say, hey, I wanted to show you how many leads you're missing with out having this chat widget installed on your site and I can do a full demo, maybe even show them a screenshot with the actual chat widget on there. So what I did, I used to do this a long time ago when I, I did other things in SEO and just kind of showing them things, but I found um, that I forgot the code. I forgot how to actually do this. So all I did is go to ChatGPT and I said, uh, "Can you? how's it going? I said, can you give me the code for an HTML iframe, which iframe is basically displaying one site on another site. You do it a lot with maps and things like that. If we go to our uh, KD Concrete Service site, which is something that uh, we've talked about in the past, you can see down here is this little map, and this is iframed into the site. So this is pulling data from Google Maps onto here. So really easy to do, but I forgot the code. And so ChatGPT spit out this code, and I even asked it for the actual website, but you don't really need that because all you have to do is replace this code here. So I'm going to copy this code, first of all. Now I'm going to go to our software page and actually build this page out. Okay, so here inside of our software, we're going to just go to site, then funnels. You can create from blank and just do uh, chat demo, hit create. I'm going to hit add new step, and I'm just going to do chat demo again. Demo hit create funnel step, it's going to bring me to the website builder so I can actually put this code on there. Okay, create from blank. Now that I'm in here, I'm gonna do full width 
I'm going to add a row, add a column, and then add an element. So full width, add a row, add a column, and add an element, and that element is going to be code. Okay, it says custom HTML or JavaScript. Open this code editor, and then I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT, gonna copy that code and paste it in here. Now, one thing to notice is this height is only 600 pixels, which means the page is gonna be cut off a little bit. So what I wanna do is just change this to 1280 and hit save. Then if I hit save up at the top right, I can preview this. You can see that the website is in here, but there's a, it's a little chopped off here, so I need to do one more thing. So back in our builder, I'm just gonna make sure I'm clicked in this green area for a section. I'm gonna scroll down and say, allow rows to take entire width, and then hit save. If I preview one more time, that should fill up the entire screen now. So now the website is displaying, so we need to add our little disclaimer bar at the top. So we're gonna go back in, we're going to add, hit this little plus button. We're going to add a headline and you can just say, this is a demo of our chat, but not on your actual website or whatever you wanna say. I change it up sometimes. And then for me, I'm going to, not really necessary, but I'm gonna change the font to white and I'm going to fill the bar up with red. And then lastly, I'm just going to move this up to the top. And then if I want it to be a little extra special here, I'm going to change our margins to zero just to get this as close to the top as possible. So just the top margins so that we don't have a lot of white space at the top. Cool, so now it's all the way at the top. If I hit save and preview it one more time, you'll see that bar pop up here. Now, obviously the thing we're missing is our chat widget. So all we have to do is go back to this page, hit go back. We're gonna to go to settings, and then we're just going to turn our chat widget on and hit save. Now, if I refresh one more time, now our chat widget is on, is on the site. Now, obviously I was looking at this concrete site, so what do I have to do? To go and copy that, we're gonna go back and edit our site one more time, and then I open the code, and where it says www.kw.com, I'm going to replace that with the site that we were prospecting. Hit save, and if I refresh this site, you'll see it changes from Keller Williams to now American Concrete Products, but our chat stays the same. Again, you can bounce around to different pages and just show them how this chat works. This works great for if you want to demo AI chat, a lot of other things. You can um, set up their own sub account just for concrete companies, and then you can have this chat actually answering concrete questions or whatever you want to do. But just wanted to kind of show you the overall idea of this because I think it can really open up some ways for you to demo this. And obviously make sure you have that disclaimer at the top because again, I've had people that have freaked out saying, how'd you get this on our website? Did you hack into our site? You know, it's just a lot to explain. So just make sure I have this little thing up here. So haven't had any problems since then. But you can literally with this feature, the chat feature, and a few other things like reviews and messaging, showing them the two-way communication back and forth. You could be charging two, $300, $400 per month just for those features. You start adding AI into that, which I'm really working hard on building out our AI infrastructure using a company called Closebot and High Level. It's really something that you can start charging significant money for. And more importantly, it's going to be something that really benefits local businesses. So play around with that, make sure that you try exploring this, but this little easy hack, I'll leave the code down below so you can try it yourself. And other than that, let me know what you think and I'll talk to you again soon.